Now we're going to take a look at the paywall extension. So if we go to manage extensions, and then here we are, is paywall extension, which you enable. If you're running Blitz, your, um, if you're running LM Bits yourself uh, on your own server or on your own node, this is the easiest way I can think of to have a paywall system um, without you having to develop it yourself. This is the only way I think you've just got kind of like a you know one click install uh, paywall solution for your non-custodial node. So that's pretty cool. You can also run it on something like lmbits.com or you know some other shared version of lmbits which is running. So we can make a new paywall. Select the wallet we want the funds to go to. The target URL. Uh, I'll just use this um, link to LN URL GitHub, which I had open from the last tutorial. Um, the amount. So let's say 200 satoshis. Memo. Mm, LN URL paywall. Create the paywall. And there we are. We have our paywall here. There's a link to the link, which is the LN URL link there. Um, and uh, we can delete it um, and this is the actual link which you're going to share with people so if we click on that so if you want to share your content you want people to pay for your content you just give them this link um, and then you know the only thing they can access is um, uh, is this is this link nothing else on LM bits on your LM bits install so if I pay that now Should have opened my wallet up before doing this demo. There you go. So paid on the phone on the wallet. There we are. Boom. See how quick that was? Great. Um, so now we get a link and we can go to that link, you know, click on open URL and it'll open the URL. Uh, if we go back, it also stores um, in your cookies, it stores that you've actually paid for this uh, paywall so you don't have to pay again. Uh, we were going to put in an auto redirect, but we thought for security reasons, we didn't like the idea of it automatically redirecting to uh, the link. We thought, you know, it's okay for users to have to click on the link itself. And that is pretty much it, really. It's a pretty simple, straightforward um, extension. Actually, it's it's a really good example if you want to make your own extension. Um, and when you go into the file system, if you have a look at the paywall extension, it's a really good example of just a, a simple extension. Um, and it's got the, the front end page as well, the front end shareable page, which people can't access your information on. Um, it's also got all the a API information there, so we can list paywalls, create paywalls, delete a paywall. Um, so some developers might make use of that for some for some for some purpose. Um, you could, you know, use those endpoints to create a paywall, and then um, when people pay the paywall, they automatically go to the to the link because that's in the stored in the database in the JSON which comes back. So you could add that functionality if you wanted to to you know another service, um, sitting on top of LM Bits. So that's it. Have fun. Um, also, don't forget that you can you can go dark as well. If I know a lot of people prefer the dark mode, so make sure you um, make use of that. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you again.